Over-the-counter drug, Wikipedia article audio. Over-the-counter drugs are medicines sold directly to a consumer without a prescription from a healthcare professional, as opposed to prescription drugs, which may only be sold to consumers possessing a valid prescription. In many countries, ODC drugs are selected by a regulatory agency to ensure that they are ingredients that are safe and effective when used without a physician's care. ODC drugs are usually regulated by active pharmaceutical ingredients, not final products. By regulating APIs instead of specific drug formulations, governments allow manufacturers freedom to formulate ingredients or combinations of ingredients, into proprietary mixtures. Usage Regulation by country Canada India Netherlands United States Restricted over-the-counter substances United Kingdom Switches between prescription and ODC The term over-the-counter may be somewhat counterintuitive, since, in many countries, these drugs are often placed on shelves in self-service areas of stores, like any other packaged products. In contrast, prescription drugs are almost always passed over a counter from the pharmacist to the customer. Some drugs may be legally classified as over-the-counter, but may only be dispensed by a pharmacist after an assessment of the patient's needs or the provision of patient education. In many countries, a number of ODC drugs are available in establishments without a pharmacy, such as general stores, supermarkets, and gas stations. Regulations detailing the establishments where drugs may be sold who is authorized to dispense them, and whether a prescription is required vary considerably from country to country. As of 2011, around a third of older adults in the U.S. reportedly use ODC drugs. By 2018, the prevalence of use by adults in the U.S. as first-line treatment for minor illnesses had reached 81%. In Canada, there are four drug schedules. All medications other than schedule may first be considered an ODC drug, as they do not require prescriptions for sale. While the National Association of Pharmacy Regulatory Authorities provides recommendations on the scheduling of drugs for sale in Canada, each province may determine its own scheduling. The drugs found in each schedule may vary from province to province. In November 2016, India's Drug Consultative Committee announced it was embarking on establishing a definition of drugs which could be dispensed without a prescription. Prior to this, the general assumption was that any drug which did not fall into a prescription schedule could be purchased without a prescription. However, the needed definition had not been enacted by early 2018. The lack of a legal definition for ODC drugs has led to this 4 billion US dollar market segment being effectively unregulated. In the Netherlands, there are four categories. A drug that is UA can be sold ODC but only by pharmacists. The drug can be on the shelves like any other product. Examples are Domperidun, 400 mg ibuprofen up to 50 tablets and dextromethorphan. A drug that is UAD can also be sold at drug stores, stores where no prescription can be filed and there is only a relatively small selection of popular drugs like painkillers and cough medicine. The drugs are usually on the shelves and the store also sells items like toys, gadgets, perfumes, and homeopathic products. The drugs in this category have limited risk and addiction potential. Examples are naproxen and diclofenac in small amounts, cinerizen, 
400 mg ibuprofen up to 20 tablets and also 500 mg paracetamol up to 50 tablets. Drugs in the AV category can be sold at supermarkets, gas stations etc. and include only drugs with minimal risk to the public, like paracetamol up to 20 tablets, 200 mg ibuprofen up to 10 tablets, ketirizen, and lopiramide. In the United States, the manufacture and sale of OTC substances is regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA requires that all new drugs obtain a new drug application before entering interstate commerce, but the Act exempts any drugs generally recognized as safe and effective. To deal with the vast number of OTC drugs that were already on the market before the requirement that all drugs obtain an NDA, the FDA created the OTC monograph system to review classes of drugs and to categorize them as grass e after review by expert panels. Certain classes of OTC drugs would not be required to obtain an NDA and could remain on the market if they conformed to the monograph guidelines for doses labeling, and warnings finalized in the Code of Federal Regulations. Thus, an OTC drug product is allowed to be marketed either pursuant to an FDA monograph or pursuant to an NDA for products that do not fit within a specific monograph. There is also the possibility that certain OTC drug products are marketed under the grandfathering provisions of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act but the FDA has never formally acknowledged that any legitimate grandfathered OTC drug exists. Examples of OTC substances approved in the United States are sunscreens, antimicrobial and antifungal products, external and internal analgesics such as lidocaine and aspirin, psoriasis, and eczema topical treatments, anti-dandruff shampoos containing coal tar, and other topical products with a therapeutic effect. The Federal Trade Commission regulates advertising of OTC products, in contrast to prescription drug advertising, which is regulated by the FDA. The FDA requires OTC products to be labeled with an approved drug fax label to educate consumers about their medications. The labels comply to a standard format and are intended to be easy for typical consumers to understand. Drug facts labels include information on the product's active ingredient, indications, and purpose, safety warnings, directions for use, and inactive ingredients. An ill-defined third category of substances is products having over-the-counter status from the FDA while being simultaneously subject to other restrictions on sale. While they are legally classified as OTC drugs, they are typically stored behind the counter and are sold only in stores that are registered with their state. They may be unavailable in convenience and grocery stores that stock other non-restricted OTC medications. For example, many drug stores have moved products containing pseudoephedrine, an OTC product, into locations where customers must ask a pharmacist for them. A prescription is not required, the change has been made in an effort to reduce methamphetamine production. Since the passage of the Illinois Methamphetamine Precursor Control Act and the subsequent Federal Combat Methamphetamine Epidemic Act of 2005, the purchase of pseudoephedrine is restricted. Sellers of pseudoephedrine must obtain and record the identity of the purchaser and enforce quantity restrictions. Some states may have more stringent requirements. After initial attempts to control methamphetamine use failed to realize meaningful reductions in methamphetamine use and production, Mississippi passed House Bill 512 in the state Senate on February 2, 
2010 to require a prescription from a licensed medical professional to purchase over-the-counter medicines with pseudoephedrine, ephedrine, or any other precursor chemical that can readily and illicitly be converted into methamphetamine, methcathinone or any active-slash-scheduled analogues of phenylethylamine-slash-amphetamine. However, Products containing the substance are still ODC in most states, since no prescription is required. A similar regulation applies to some forms of emergency contraception. The FDA considers them to be ODC substances for females 17 or over but prescription drugs for younger women. To enforce the restriction and to provide counseling and education on proper use, an agreement between the manufacturer and the FDA requires the drugs are stored behind the pharmacy counter. Women may obtain the medication without a prescription after providing proof of age to pharmacy staff and receiving any necessary patient education. Furthermore, some Schedule V controlled substances may be classified as ODC products in certain states. Such drugs are sold without a prescription but are subject to record-keeping rules and quantity and slash or age restrictions, and they must be dispensed by a pharmacy. In the United Kingdom, medication is governed by the Medicines Regulations 2012. Medication will fall into one of three categories. If it is not appropriate to sell AP medication i.e. the condition is not suitable for self-management and requires referral to a medical prescriber then a sale should not occur and the pharmacist has a legal and professional obligation to refer this on to an appropriate service. Examples of these include some sleep aid tablets such as Netol, human duerming tablets such as Mibendazole, painkillers with small amounts of codeine, and pseudoephedrine. Medication available only with a prescription is marked somewhere on the box slash container with. Pharmacy only products are marked with. A prescription is not required for medicines, and pharmacy sales assistants are required by Royal Pharmaceutical Society codes to ask certain questions, which varies for what the customer says. If they ask for a specific product, the pharmacy assistant must ask who is it for, how long have you had the symptoms, are you allergic to any medication, are you taking any medication. If a customer asks for a remedy, e.g., hay fever, then the two wham questions must be followed who is it for, what are the symptoms, how long have you had the symptoms. Have you taken any action towards your symptoms, and are you taking any other medication? It is with this information that the pharmacist can halt the sale, if need be. No, or products that are stocked in a pharmacy can be sold, dispensed, or pre-made until a responsible pharmacist is signed in and on the premises. Some medication available in supermarkets and petrol stations is sold only in smaller packet sizes. Often, larger packs will be marked as and available only from a pharmacy. Frequently, customers buying larger than usual doses of medicines will be queried, due to the possibility of abuse. As a general rule, over-the-counter drugs have to be used primarily to treat a condition that does not require the direct supervision of a doctor and must be proven to be reasonably safe and well tolerated. ODC drugs are usually also required to have little or no abuse potential, although in some areas drugs such as codeine are available ODC. Over time, often 3-6 years, Drugs that prove themselves safe and appropriate as prescription medicines may be switched from prescription to ODC. An example of this is diphenhydramine, an antihistamine which once required a prescription but now is available ODC nearly everywhere. More recent examples are cimetidine and loratadine in the United States, and ibuprofen in Australia.
it is somewhat unusual for an ODC drug to be withdrawn from the market as a result of safety concerns, rather than market forces, though it does happen occasionally. For example, phenylpropanolamine was removed from sale in the United States over concern regarding strokes in young women. A study has been done examining consumers' perceptions about the risk of and access to non-prescription medication. A substantial minority of the public appears willing to accept considerable risk to gain greater access to pharmaceuticals. In the United Kingdom, it was announced in February 2007, that Boots the Chemist would try over-the-counter sales of Viagra in stores in Manchester, England. Men aged between 30 and 65 could have bought four tablets after a consultation with a pharmacist. Schedule 1, requires a prescription for sale and are provided to the public by a licensed pharmacist. Schedule 2, does not require a prescription but requires an assessment by a pharmacist prior to sale. These drugs are kept in an area of the pharmacy where there is no public access and may also be referred to as behind-the-counter drugs. Schedule 3, does not require a prescription but must be kept in an area under the supervision of a pharmacist. These drugs are kept in an area of the retail outlet where self-selection is possible, but a pharmacist must be available to assist in the self-selection of medication if required, unscheduled, does not require a prescription and may be sold in any retail outlet. UR, prescription only, UA, pharmacist only, UAD, pharmacist or drugstore only, AV can be sold in general stores.